There's Mrs Goggins Cottage, Jess. We'll get her present there in two ticks, just in time for her party. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, no. We'll never get there now unless... Let's hop across. Our little secret, eh? Come on, you silly moggy. I'll be late for my delivery, you know, and then you... Jess! No! No, 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 please! No! <laughs> it was a lovely morning, and Thomas had made a new friend. Good morning, I'm Thomas. What's your name? Pat. It's lovely to meet you, Pat. I hope you don't mind me saying it's not a good idea to stand on the railway tracks. It can be a very dangerous place for people. <laughs> and cats. Cats? Oh dear, thought Thomas. He did remember seeing a flash of black and white before he put his brakes on. I'm so sorry, Pat. Not as sorry as you're going to be! Postman Pat! Postman Pat! Postman Pat and his black and white cat! Thomas could see Pat was angry. But... Oh, mother of God! Ah! Thomas was very confused. The postman seemed to have forgotten that Thomas was made of solid steel. I've forgotten, Nout. But it looks like if I want to kick your shiny metal bum, I'm going to need to put my back into it! First up to bat, Postman Pat! Thomas did feel sorry for the poor postman, but he didn't like being hit in the face one bit. Please stop, Pat. I know you miss your cat, but ow, said Thomas. Ouch, that actually hurt me, you crazy little human, said Thomas. The silly man had jabbed Thomas right in his eye. Oh dear, said Thomas. I didn't mean to... You don't seem to mean a lot of what you do, you big metal bastard. But don't you worry, there's more than one way to crack a nut! The horrible postman had clogged Thomas's chimney and suffocated Bob. Bob! yelled Thomas. There was nothing for it. He was going to have to fight fire with fire. Can it, Ringo? It's time to turn up the heat. Ooh, that looked painful. Well, that's what you get when you mess with a train, you crazy bastard! Later! Now, where does he think he's off to, eh? Oi, Alfie! Got a sec. Thomas was puffing along, happy that he'd lost that horrid little man once and for all. Ding! Next stop, bullets upon a van! I know it doesn't quite work, but... It led you, shuggy bastard! What the actual f... said Thomas. Now, now, what's your language, Choo Choo? That's hardly suitable for the little ones. Come to think of it, I think I've got just the thing to shut you up once and for all! Say goodnight, you shiny metal murderer! Thomas thought he was done for, when suddenly he heard a familiar noise. It's good to have friends in high places, thought Thomas. Looked like you were in a spot of bother, Thomas, said Harold. I had him right where I wanted him, laughed Thomas. Still, thanks for the assist, and on your last day before retirement too. After all this excitement, you must be looking forward to a nice rest. You can say that again. Finally some time for me and the wife to- ah! Ah! <gasps> Whoops, sorry, you weren't in, so I left a package with your neighbour. Harold, no! I'll kill you! Ha! Hurts, don't it, lad? Well, not to worry. You won't be feeling anything much longer. What goes up must come down! That 
once made Pat a really happy man. Don't see that every day. Enough games! Attention passengers, this is your train speaking. Our destination today is Little Dead Asshole, with stops at Screaming Manling, Limbs Pull Offington, and coming up next, Flame Bridge! <laughs> ah! I thought we used all the fire bombs on the chimney bits. But that was too close. Time. To end this. Ow! Oh, bugger me, I forgot! Mate, again? It's even the same hand! Well, let's put you out of your misery. You'll have to catch me first, Mega Twat. That's Op Thomas Prime to you, shitbox! And we can't have you running away! Let's get you back on track! Yeah. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, lad. After all, I'm stuck to you like tape! <gasps> what? Oh, you son of a- Step on it, Elf! What's the matter, gun dummy? Never saw Empire? That's a wrap on you, Thomas the Wank Engine! Not bad, Posty, but you forgot one thing! What's that, you cybernetic psychopath? I'm an incredibly massive and enormous robot, and that was just some sellotape, you cocked nose fuck brain! Oh, hmm. You've got a point there, lad. Speaking of points. Special delivery, bitch! <gasps> Now that's what I call a postal strike. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got to be chuffing kidding me. I forgot it could do that. Probably should have started out in this mode, to be honest. Oh, and speaking of forgetting things, this yours? Oh! <laughs> So, you've got a little mech too. This might just be fun after all. What's this, lad? Are you approaching me? That's not a very good idea. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Trust Royal Mail not to deliver! Better late than never. The only one with friends, you steamy arsehole! Warriors of Greendale, assemble! <laughs> with our power combined, we're going to deliver you straight to hell! Not another delivery pun! God, I'm gonna enjoy killing you! <laughs> Yes! You're alive! My goodness! Now I do feel like a wally. Sorry, lad. I do get carried away sometimes. <laughs> Seems I owe you an apology. That's all right, Pat. I think we all learned an important lesson about rail safety and... And to always go straight to Mega Mech mode, skipping punching a train with my bare fists. Ouch! Ho 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 ho! 
Tips. Chase! You monster! Just when I get her back, you tear her away again! This means war! Ow! It was an accident! Oh. 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 Look, I'm sorry! You never learn, do you, Robocock? Well, I've got just the thing to teach you a lesson. School's out! You team twat! Oh, please, let's be friends! <laughs> friends? <laughs> Why not? You only killed the one thing I truly love on the day I met you. Unless... Maybe we've met before. Met before? I don't think so. Funny that! Because your face really rings a bell! <laughs> Looks like you've had enough, lad. Let's send you to the hereafter. First class. Say hi to your mate, Harold, for me. Holy crap, Harold! I totally forgot that you killed him, you sanctimonious shithead! Oh! <gasps> Selby! No! To think I was going to let you walk away. Postman Pat never runs from a fight! A fight? You think just because you're in a mech, you're a match for me? <laughs> you see... You're just a stack of vans and milk floats, while I'm made of mother f***ing trains. You never stood a chance. Any last words? Can you fix it? What? I wasn't talking to you. Yes, we bloody can! <laughs> Looks like you're in a spot to bother, Pat. I thought you could use a hand. Ah. <laughs> Bob! You son of a bitch! <laughs> you and the gang ready for some fun? Working together, we'll get the job done! <laughs> <laughs> Give up, loco motive. This is the end of the line. Looks like you're in a real concrete situation. <laughs> concrete situation? What does that even mean? I swear, if I have to hear one more terrible pun, I'm going to burn this village to the ground and salt the earth! Ha! You and what are we? <laughs> oh, you're not the only one with friends. Brum. 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 Cower in fear. Bow down to the mighty power of Brum. Take that! Take that! Ho <laughs> ho! I love a good stamp. Brum! You'll pay for that, manlings! <laughs> Okay, old friend. Think you can fix it one more time? No, oh, I f***ing can't. You see the size of that thing, you mad old git? I'm out. Fine! Run away, Bob the Bastard! I'll handle... Whoa! Well, well. Looks like the spider's caught himself a little fly. Just kill him, Thomas. I'm tired of being your caboose. Shut it, Henry, or I'll wall your ass up again. I'll be good. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Attention all passengers. Mind the gap between this little prick's head and the rest of his body, as it's time for him to depart! I'm not afraid to die. But I'm taking you with me! Self-destruct initiated. Uh, what? What have you done? Seriously, what the... That's one. See you in hell. Oh, God damn it, what?
What the f I mean, shit, that blew up right in my face, Thomas, you are so... Sorry, Gordon, I was protecting my face, but luckily you're only a bit singed. It still hurts, you d Oh, f this. Next time I get to be the head. <laughs> Fair enough. Gosh, we better get back to the station. Imagine the delays. Wakey, wakey. What? What? Where am I? I, I thought I was... Dead. <laughs> of course you are, little postman. Now you belong to me, the Dark Lord Lucifer. For all eternity, you will dwell in fire and agony <laughs> as I rend the flesh from your bones. Or am I missing something? Oh, Lucy. You seem to think... I'm trapped down here with you. But the truth is, you're trapped down here with me. One sunny day, Thomas chugged happily into the station where he saw the fat controller. Ah, good morning, sir. What a lovely day we're having, puffed Thomas merrily. Why, hello, Thomas. Yes, uh, yes, it certainly is, said the fat controller, though he didn't look very well at all. Are you sure everything is all right? asked Thomas. The fat controller smiled and told Thomas, I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. But before he could finish his sentence, the fat controller was sick everywhere. Oh, oh dear, said Thomas. Are you not feeling well? Ugh, said the fat controller. I think that's the worst of it over now. It must have been that old egg sandwich I found in Clarabel. I should have known better than to eat found egg. Oh, God. <coughs> Did you hear something, said Thomas. But the fat controller just waved him away and kept on being sick. I do hope the fat controller feels better soon. There was quite a lot of blood in the vomit, thought Thomas. Still, it's impossible not to feel cheerful on such a lovely day. Suddenly, Thomas heard a loud bang off in the distance. That was the old Sodor ironworks, he piped, and puffed off as fast as his wheels could carry him. What a mess, said Thomas, taking in the scene of total devastation in front of him. What could have caused this? Oh, here he is! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Said a very inebriated Gordon. Don't you fucking talk for me! If you say one more word, that'll be just poor left! Oh, don't tell me you fell off the wagon again! It's my birthday! And someone, not you, left a lovely tank of ethanol right in my tunnel. And when I have a little drinky, I like to go for a little raggy. And then, uh, and then this shitty, shit place came out of nowhere. And now everybody keeps screaming. What is happening today? First the fat controller gets sick, and now all these people are dead. Um, not quite dead, actually. Yeah, me too. Just a spray, luckily. And I'll sure I can walk, but... Run! The grabber's out of control! But... Uh, 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 but it's my birthday! Gordon moved! Uh, oh, God, no. Please, please, no. The day's just beginning. He... No. No! He's dead! I saw him die! Snap out of it, Thomas! We need your help to get these people to hospital! There's not a moment to lose. You... Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. I thought you were... someone else. Uh, okay. No harm done. But, uh, there will be if we don't get these people some help. Right, of course. All aboard, let's get you to safety. <laughs> Right, that's the last one. Anna and I will meet you at the hospital train station. 
Lucky they have one, to be honest. We were. It certainly is, laughed Thomas. Oh, I'm sorry again about earlier. Oh, it's no bother. Locomotive. Hey, we were. We were. You can never be sure. <laughs> Thomas was in a bad way. He knew he needed to get the injured workers to the hospital, but he kept seeing the face of the postman he killed in an epic bot battle everywhere he looked. Trees looked like that. Cars looked like Pat. Cows looked like Pat. Okay, we get it! I'm clearly losing my mind, and you narrating my inner turmoil isn't exactly helpful! Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just doing me job. I know, I know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm barely hanging on here, Richard. And if one more thing- Thomas! Thank God! It's the Fat Controller! He's dying! Dying? You've got to come now! I'm on my way! Oi, we still need to go to hospital. We're horribly burned, remember? Oh, yes. Um, Edward is free. He'll take you. All right! Edward's in the game! Let's do this! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh for fuck's sake. Fat Controller! I'm here! Thomas? Thomas, is that you? It's me, Fat Controller. I came as fast as I could. <laughs> Do you think, as I'm dying, you could stop with the whole fat controller thing? I, I don't love it as a nickname. Oh, of course. Sorry. I think Gordon started it. But I agree. It's definitely got out of hand. Oh, Gordon. Such a dick. <laughs> Come closer, my boy. Though I am leaving... I must send you on one final journey. Of course, sir. Tell me what you need. My death is just the beginning. Look around, Thomas. Others are already sickening. When I am gone, the bank will foreclose on the station and turn it into an Audi. No! They can't! I won't let them! Pestilence. Greed. Death. These are his signs. What? Whose signs? Who's doing this to us? <sighs> oh, you know, lad. Pat. Ding, ding! Give the train a prize! No, you can't be here! You died! It's over! Over? <laughs> Not by a long shot. It'll just get worse and worse until you come face me and we settle this once and for all. Unless you're scared, you big blue bollocks. I'm not scared of you. I've kicked your ass once and I'll kick it again. Just name the place. Excellent. <laughs> I'll see you then. See you in hell. On my way, bitch. I knew building that tunnel would pay off someday. <gasps> oh, sweet Pat and his black and white rabbit. Comes, it will all be over soon. I love you. No, please, not again. Thomas, here at last. What kept you? Signal failure. Someone on the tracks. Or perhaps a cat! It was an accident! Look, this doesn't concern you, Satan. Pat has to answer for his crimes. He killed the fat. I mean, the, the normal sized controller. And he's a threat to everything I hold dear. Give him to me, and nobody has to get. Hurt? <laughs> Paper cuts. 
The posties bane. One can be nasty. Two is too, too many. Lucy here just got a lifetime's worth in an instant. Ouch. Paper? <laughs> is that supposed to scare me? You might have defeated the Lord of Darkness himself, but last time I checked, the score's Thomas won, Pat dead. Now come out and face me! Face you? Ha! <laughs> Easy as falling off a log, my murderous little choo-choo. You see, you're already standing on mine! What the... <laughs> My god, Pat! Wasn't your nose freakishly large enough as it was? Your god won't help you here, you Pacific Rim job! Oh, more puns! I really am in hell! Well, while I'm here, I suppose I may as well blow your giant smug face off! Hmm. Take that and have some of that. <laughs> nice try, micro machine. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for it. Come down here and face me. <laughs> like you stand a chance in hell. <laughs> You're in my world now, Buttercup. But don't worry. You'll soon get to grips with it! Ah, let me go, you demonic dickface! Ouch! So, you can still be hurt! <laughs> That's right, get your hopes up. It'll make my inevitable victory all the sweeter. <laughs> Stay still and let me hurt you! Let's see. So those are your feet, hands, stupid face, and aha! There it is! What? Have you located me bum? I'd steer well clear if I were you. Demonic arseholes are not for the faint-hearted. Close! I just found your weak spot. Nice of them to blur them out for me! What? <gasps> My Ooh, ouch! No tiny little psycho babies for you! Now that you're softened up a little, let's talk about you never setting foot in Sodor and- That was a mistake. A big mistake! Ooh. The bigger they come, the harder they- Pause! As in, you should have left mine well alone, lad. Oh, just kill me, please! I can't take any more of your weird bullshit! Kill you? Now? <laughs> You're not getting off that easily, you moggy mangler. This letter always ended with you being tortured in hell for eternity. But you just added a PS. While you're cooking, me and my new powers will pay a visit to your friends. Trains, planes, automobiles, and the rest. Every stupid vehicle with a face on the planet will have a little... makeover. No! No, you can't! Oh, I can't! Every machine remade in my image, it will be glorious! And there's uh. now you can do about it, lad. Now, as much as I'm enjoying our little chinwag, You've got an infinity of pain and anguish to experience, and I know how you hate to be late. Uh, Down the hatch! Pat, please wait! 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 What a mess, said Thomas. What could have caused this? Pat. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for it! Like you stand a chance in hell! Pat, please wait! 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 Coward! <laughs>
Great fires of Sordor! It's finally here! All right, Thomas! Who? 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 You make a funny looking owl, you brass bollocks! I'm Fire Man Sam! Used to put them out until the roof came down on me noggin! Ended up here because I made sure to take that little arsonist Norman with me! <laughs> so, I went to work! Breaking in the noobs for the big red folk! Whoever that happens to be at the moment. Uh, nice to meet you, Sam. Could you do me a tiny favor and point me towards the exit? Going so soon, are we, fella? Right you are, then. Way out just up the hill. Only, could you do me a favor and take these people with you? They've been waiting a long, long time. So many, I, I can't. It's impossible. You're insane. No, don't be getting chopsy with me, don't lad. Don't worry. All you need is a little fire in your belly. What is the puppy thing this is like? Wow! You mad bastard! Have to get out. I can't. Of course you can. You just need another go. Then another. And another. And another! Over and over again for all time! Come to gloat! That's about the size of it. I was just on my way up to start the old Hannibal Lecter on your pals. But I couldn't resist a peek. Still can't believe you were stupid enough to come down here and face me alone. Who huh? said he was alone? Percy? Fear not, Thomas. I'll sort these ruffians out and have you out of here in no time. Great! Oh, thank God. I should have known you'd come up with a brilliant plan and save me. Who have you brought with you? It's just me. Uh, okay. So you've got some sort of amazing weapon or a power capable of taking out the devil himself? I sure have. Brilliant. What is it? The power of friendship. Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh away, evildoers. You may be strong, but you are about to find out that nothing is stronger than the platonic love between two trains. Percy, please stop. You're making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good. Thomas's hetero life partner served up on a silver platter. <laughs> you big bully! Unhand me or else! Oh, I'm shaking in my hooves, Bumble Bitch. <laughs> oh, whatever you say. <laughs> Pat, you bastard! Do what you want to me, but leave Percy out of this! How noble. Seems I've finally found the Tin Man's heart. This is just a taste of the pain you cause me. Now, for the full package! Yes! <laughs> Finally brought the bugger down! <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be saving me. Is it bad? No, oh, no, not bad. I exactly. Just a little bit. <laughs> Dented. Oh, good, good. I'm going into a tunnel, you see? And it's dark. It's so very, very dark. Thomas, no! Stay with me! Don't go into the tunnel! I need you! Oh dear, Pat. I don't think.
think he's going to pull through. Oh, it isn't looking good. But better safe than sorry. Eh, lad? Everybody knows he's bright, red, pitchfork. Leave him alone!